In this video, we're going to discuss how to define SMD pads using Allegro and Orcad pad stack editor. As you can see on the screen, we have different shape and different types of pad stack and their geometry. And using these two combination, we can able to create any shape and any type of pads for different components. We'll start with the discussion of graphical user interface of pad stack editor. Then we'll discuss how to create a SMD pad on pad stack editor and how to use it on PCB editor 17.4. Let's begin with very first tab, which is start. And under this tab, you'll see a couple of options. The first option is select pad stack users. And out of these many options available, which has through hole, SMD, VR, BBVRs, micro VRs, slot, and lot of other options, we're going to select SMD pin. As soon as I'll click over the SMD pin, all the drills options are locked. Let's move to another option, which is select pad geometry. And here you can see we have lot of shapes available for our SMD pad. In our case, we're going to use rectangle because the package we're going to design is TQFP. Another tab on pad stack editor is drill. And if I'll select this tab, I'll see an option of whole type selection. And using this drop down menu, we can able to select circular all square holes. Let's suppose I have selected the circular one. Then I can able to create circular holes on our SMD pad. So the main application of these type of pads are thermal pads. So maybe you people have seen couple of chips with thermal pads requirement. We'll discuss other two tabs, which is drill symbol and drill offset during through hole pad stack tutorial. Let's move to another tab, which is design layer. In design layer tabs, we'll see first option, which is layer name. So you can put all this information for regular pad, thermal pad, anti pad and keep out for begin layer and end layer. Now another option is regular pad. So as soon as you will click over this regular pad, the geometry that we have selected rectangle is automatically enabled. And if you want, you can still change it from this option. Now here we'll fill all the details as per IPC standard. Another is thermal pad. So we provide extra height and width to this pad for thermal dissipation. And another is anti-pad. Anti-pad is used to disconnect a pad from surrounding copper area. So again, you can edit this thing using design rules on PCB editor as well. Other option is keep out. So it will protect your pad to keep it away from other design options. It can be pads, component, copper ports, cutouts, etc. Let's move to our last tab, which is mask layers. And here we'll see four different type of mask layers. One is solder mask, paste mask, film mask, and cover layer. And here we'll see option of changing its geometry. So using this option, we can able to put different shape and different size of mask layers. Let's start with solder mask top. So it is equal to size of a pad and mask these pads from applying green protective layers. Similarly for bottom. Paste mask is a layer we use in solder paste artwork. Using this, we kind of mask this pad if you don't want to apply solder paste on it. Film mask is a kind of extra layer provided which you can use for any purpose. Let's suppose if in on my PCB, I want to put some extra pads for spacers. So using this mask layer, I can separate those spacers from other mask layers. All right. And you can use it for different applications. Cover layer. So cover layer is a protective layer that we use on flexible PCBs. In this section of the video, I'm going to tell you how to create a SMD pad on pad stack editor and how to import it on PCB editor 17.4. Now the next step is I'm going to show you. So this is a TQFP package of at mega 328p. And using this table, you can able to calculate what is the height and width of a single pad. Now we'll open the pad stack editor. We'll start from very first option. Here we have, we have selected the SMD pin. And in our case, the geometry of a pad is rectangle. Now the next step is, we'll move to design layer tab and here we're going to put 
the information for begin layer which is our top layer which will be similar for end layer as well so let's select it now make sure we have selected mills here so we're going to put all the information in mills so in our case width is 42.3 and height of the smd pad is 17.7 and make sure this information should be as per IPC standard. In our case, we are not going to put any thermal pad, anti pad or keep out. So we'll move to mask layers. Now we'll select the solder mask top. And here we're going to fill all the details. So as per IPC standard double to double to level A, the width and height of a solder mask should be 6 mil higher than the pad size. So we'll add 6 mil on height and width of the pad. So now the width will be 48.32 and height will be 23.7. Now we'll copy this and paste on the solder mask bottom. Alright. And for this SMD pad, we are not going to use any of these masks. Now let's move to summary. So as you can see, these are all the details that we have filled. And if you wanted to change it or found something suspicious, you can go back to that tab and change it. Now we're going to save this component. For that, you have to click over this save button. And here we're going to save it on desktop. So we'll just select desktop and here we'll create a folder which will be pad stack and footprint. Now the next step is we have to follow the naming convention. So as per IPC standard, if we have a rectangular pad, so the naming convention or the naming of that rectangular pad will start with R. Now we have to put the width of rectangular pad in mm, so which will be 1.07 mm and uh, it will be denoted by 107 in this naming convention underscore and the height is 0.45 so which will be denoted by 045 so this will be the naming convention of pad stack now we'll save it now i'll show you how to use this pad stack on pcb editor 17.4 for that let's open pcb editor 17.4 and here we're going to create this file new option from here we're going to select package symbol or package symbol wizard so i'm going to select package symbol now browse it where you wanted to save this package so i'm going to select desktop only the same folder it should be the same folder other otherwise it will not uh, detect that pad stack we have created and here we have to mention the name of this drawing file or the footprint file so as per IPC standard, the footprint we're going to design is TQFP. So its naming will be pitch 0.08, width will be 108, length 9.25, thickness 1.20 and pin quantity is 32. So this will be the naming convention of a footprint as per IPC standard. We'll open it. Okay. And here we're going to use this default template. Okay. Now the next step is we have to place that pad stack we have created. So for that we have to click over this option which is add pin. Just left click over there. And here at the right side of the menu we'll see options and from that we can select our pad stack so whatever the pad stack we have created started with r let's put 
asterisk on that. All right. Now we can look for the pad stack we have created. So it is R107 underscore 045. When we we'll click OK on that, you can see pad stack is ready to place. So you can place pad stack as per the dimensions given on the data sheet of component. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.